I want to ask you, first of all, today, have you and your attorneys produced internally the materials responsive to the subpoenas? Uh, we believe that we have responded to the subpoena. No, Mr. Attorney General, you're not a good witness. A good witness answers the question asked. There he is, Daryl Issa in action. You're welcome back to Harbor. That was the House Oversight Committee chair, Daryl Issa, behaving his usual way two weeks ago, hammering Attorney General Eric Holder for not turning over documents related to the so-called Fast and Furious campaign, the flawed gun tracking operation carried out by the ATF. Well, shortly after that, ISIS set a vote to hold Holder in contempt of court or contempt of Congress, rather, for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Holder and ISIS just wrapped up a meeting, by the way, a few moments ago, after which ISIS says he's still waiting for the documents he wants and hopes to get them tonight or wants to get them tonight. Willie Brown's the former mayor of San Francisco, former speaker of the California House. And Wade Henderson is the president of the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights. Let me go to Wade first, because I want to understand, is there any reason why we should put any trust in the good intentions of Daryl Issa here? Not at all, Chris. Uh, Chairman Issa is pursuing a politically motivated witch hunt that's designed to discredit the Justice Department and to force Attorney General Holder to resign. He's using Fast and Furious as the vehicle to pursue that witch hunt, uh, but the truth is nothing could be further from the factual basis for which he's making the assertion about uh, Holder's lack of cooperation. You know, when I look at this, uh, <coughs> Willie Brown, Mayor Brown, I just look at it, and I don't mean to use this term too much, but it's almost like a stop and frisk. <laughs> Here's a chance to humiliate a distinguished member of the United States government, the Attorney General, and everybody knows close friend of the president. Presidents. It's a surrogate operation. If he can humiliate this guy, if he can get to him, he'll be a big star in the Republican caucus. He'll be Dick Nixon. Well, that's what he thinks. But obviously, that will not be the case, Chris. There are too many Republicans, I think, that are responsible and responsible enough to know that you don't go, you don't go down the road that he's going down in terms of contempt of a cabinet member. You just don't do that unless it's similar to what occurred with reference to the Bush administration when two members were cited in some manner or another for doing what they did of his staff. After that, there's nothing that you can justify such conduct other than the fact that you're leading kind of a lynch-like mob. Well, let's go to some of the things that ISIS said before he even heard of this case. Yeah. Fast and Furious. He was looking for a case. He said when he got it, before he even took the oath for this Congress, I said the congressman, look what he said, November 8th, 2010, before he took the oath, I want seven hearings a week times 40 weeks. Didn't even say what they're for. I'm just going to have lots of hearings. He also said when he said, what's your jurisdiction? He said, we own everything. Chris. This is megalomania. You know, Attorney General Holder has testified at least eight times <clears throat> before Congress. He has turned over thousands of pages of testimony. He's the only Attorney General that actually appointed an Inspector General or referred the matter to an Inspector General for review. And he ended the program, which was the subject of controversy. Rather than investigating, for example, Attorney General Mukasey, who started the actual program uh, under debate, it was called Operation Wide Receiver, Mukasey has not been before the committee. We've had no discussion of or with ATF officials who were involved. It was A.G. Holder who actually uh, disciplined some of the ATF officials who were involved. So the truth is, this isn't about the facts regarding Fast and Furious. This is about creating a climate where the A.G. is going to yeah. be discredited and will resign. You know, I worked on the Hill, as you know, Mr. Speaker, uh, Willie Brown. And, you know, you're not supposed to make ad hominem comments about someone else. You just saw that bit of tape where he just makes fun of, uh, of Attorney General Holder by you're not my kind of witness. You know, you're not a good witness. What is this? Will you get to be the teacher and you get to <laughs> reprimand the student? I mean, the kind of ad hominem there. I've never seen it uh, aimed at a cabinet member before. It really means that you should not be given any opportunity to exercise power. Chris, when you receive the mantle of leadership on the power side, it automatically imposes upon you a higher level of responsibility than this congressman seems to be able to discharge. He's got to be somewhat of an embarrassment to his colleagues just by his heavy handedness. Let me Chris, go. Let me, I want you to take yeah. Give us a little narration here. 
Daryl Issa, the attorney general, what's been going on here? How long has this been building? This has been building now for months. And as you pointed out, Daryl Issa was determined almost from the outset of him holding the gavel, that he was determined to hold one member of the administration <clears throat> in some degree of difficulty because of their actions. He focused on Fast and Furious. Obviously, this was an Explain Ill Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious was a gun walking program where guns were purchased in the United States, taken across the border back to Mexico and distributed by individuals who had no uh, license or right to purchase and these the idea guns was to, to track criminal officials. We were tracking those guns to find out where they went and we hoped to buy the purchaser as well to get the purchaser as well as the recipient. And it was started under uh, the previous administration. Uh, General McKay actually had uh, Operation Wide uh, Receiver, which was the pre-runner or precursor to Fast and Furious. Yeah. It ended up with in the death of uh, officials who were involved with the U.S. government. An ATF official, I believe, was killed. Uh, but this was a terrible operation. It should never have taken place. Much to his credit, Attorney General Holder ended the program. He disciplined ATF officials who were involved. He convened a, an inspector general to take a look at the issue. He's testified over eight times with uh, the Congress, and he's provided thousands of documents. And your theory is that with, with this guy, Daryl Issa, chairman of the investigating subcommittee, his goal is to push this further and to rub the guy's face in it. No, absolutely, and to force the attorney general to resign as a discredited official. Now, here's what's ironic. There has never been an attorney general held in contempt of Congress. There's never been a vote by the House of Representatives on a contempt citation. To do it now against Eric Holder is to ignore all the facts in the case and to use a fiction to promote this kind of political agenda. And I hope both members of the Democratic Party as well as Republicans will see this for what it is. I don't want to start too much forest fire here, because, but it is my instinct. Is this ethnic, Mr. Mayor? I think it has some ethnic flavor to it. It will be interpreted by some in that vein. And you have to yeah. be very careful in a democracy that you don't give people the opportunity to make that case factually. And what Daryl Issa is doing is, in fact, giving some individuals the opportunity to make that case and to compare it to a stop and frisk. Yeah, well, I just did it because I, it smells like it to me. And I think there's a disdain on the part of some Republicans, certainly not all of them, certainly not Boehner, but some of them down in the rank and file on the red hot end of the team that do talk down to the president and his friends. Absolutely. They talk down to them. Anyway, thank you, Willie Brown, as always, sir. Thank you, Wade Henderson, for thank joining you, us. Great Chris. to have you on.